Hi friends, welcome to the Windows 10 tutorial series. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to enable the default administrator account. So the thing is that whenever you install a Windows 10 machine, by uh, when you're installing it, it asks you for a username during the installation. So the username that you type in will have administrator level privileges. But beside that user account, there is also an account that is built in by default in Windows 10 and that account is called administrator. That account, however, is disabled when you're installing it, but you can enable it. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to enable it. So this uh, administrator account, it has administrator level, administrative uh, privileges. Now, the first thing that you do is that you open your file explorer. Uh, once you do that, you right click on this PC and then you click on manage. Once you do that, you expand local users and groups. Click on users and in here it shows you all the users on your system. So in here you can see that there is this administrator account. It is disabled. How do we know that? Because of this down arrow symbol that is beside this icon. So what it means is that the account is disabled. The description of it you can read in here. It says built-in account for administering the computer or domain. So it is built in by default in Windows 10. So how do we enable it? Now in order to enable it, you need to open this command prompt. However, if you type in uh, CMD and start menu and click uh, on it or press enter, this uh, prompt that you see in here, it does not have elevate, elevated privileges. So what you need to do is that you need to type in CMD for command prompt, right click on it and then click on run as administrator. In here click on yes. So now you get this with the administrative privileges or elevated privileges because in order to enable an account or disable it you need uh, high permissions or elevated privileges or high level of privilege. You cannot do it with a standard command prompt shell. So you can do it so what you have to do is that you have to run that command prompt window or the command prompt as an administrator. In here, if I the first thing that I do is that I type in who am I. In here, you can see that it says admin. So admin is the name of the user with which I am currently logged into this system. It is this user account. Now, if I type in, let's me clear the screen first. If I type net user, what it does is that it shows me uh, all of the users currently on the system. So there is admin, administrator, default, another default, guest user 01, and then user 02. So these are these system, these accounts in here. So this net user command, it shows us all those users on the system. Let me clear the screen again. Now in order to enable the administrator account, you have to type in net user and then type in the name of the account which in this case is administrator then forward slash active colon yes so let me highlight it the command is net user administrator so if there is some other account that you want to enable or disable you can type that instead of administrator and then forward slash active uh, colon and then yes so if I press enter you can see that it says the command completed successfully so in here if we see this says that the administrator there is still this down arrow sign in here so if you right click on it click on refresh now you can see that this down arrow symbol has gone so this is how it is enabled now one thing you should remember is that by default when you are um, by default this administrator account it does not have password so when you are enabling it just like I did right now it doesn't have a password so it is very important to have a password because this administrator user can do anything on the system so if you right click on it click on set password in here it says that resetting the password might cause irreversible loss of information for this user now it says the data loss will occur the next time the user logs off and for additional information click up so if you proceed now you can type in the password this is uh, one way of doing it and the other way of doing it is by uh, typing net user and then the name of the account which in this case is administrator 
and then this asterisk sign now it says type a password for the user so if I type a user for this uh, then you will set a password for this administrator account so it is important to set a password for all your accounts especially for the administrator uh, accounts or the accounts with administrative privileges now there is another thing that you can do is that you can also get information about a particular account uh, the command for that is net user and then the name of the account so if i type in net user administrator and press enter it shows me in all this information about the user such as the name is administrator it is a built-in account uh, country of origin account active is yes expires it never expires password lost set this was when the password was lost set which by the way is today then there is this password expires it never expires then is it changeable and required and uh, these are the different options for it logon hours allowed this uh, is it a member of this uh, which groups is it a member of it? so it is a member of the administrators group uh, now if, so these are the different uh, information this is the information that you can get about this administrator account if you want to get information about some other account like guest so now this shows information about the guest account so all you have to do is that you have to type in net user and then the name of a user other than that if you want to delete a user you can also do it so if you type in net user user 01 and then forward slash delete what it will do is that sorry not space is wrong delete what it will do is that uh, it has deleted that account now so if you type in net user now you can see that user 01 is gone in here you can see user 01 but if i right click and refresh you can see that user 01 is gone other one more other thing guys is that um, in order to disable this account again all you have to do is that you have to type in net user administrator and then active and then no so this says that uh, let me highlight it so net user this is the name of the account administrator forward slash active and then no so what it does is that it disabled the account so if i press enter it says the command completed successfully so what it did was it disabled the account so if you replace administrator with some other account like let's type in net user user 02 active and then colon no and it says the command completed successfully so if you right click on it and click on refresh you can see that both the administrator and this user account they both have been disabled you can tell that because of this down arrow symbols on their accounts so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, if you have any questions suggestions or recommendations feel free to put it in the comment section below and if you found this tutorial useful make sure to share it with your friends and i will see you guys in the next one